so fly like Aladdin. I start the ship, I'm the captain. And niggas that took in their chatting. So it is now August and people are gonna be starting. They're gonna be starting to go to uni for med school. A few people have been asking me, um, Ryan, can you make some videos about tips uh, for first year of med school? I thought, you know what? I've been focusing on A-levels and GCSE, so I might as well make a video about how to get through your first year of med school. Before I go ahead, I'm gonna be doing a Snapchat Q&A uh, very soon. Um, so if anyone wants to participate, um, if they've got any questions to ask, then make sure you add my Snapchat and Instagram. Um, I'll put all of that up here. Um, and you, you know, you can get involved in that. Now, the first bit of advice that I can give you is get to know as many people as you can. Now, the reason I say this is because the more people that you're friends with on your course, the more help you're gonna get with your assignments, you know, your exams, your placements, there's, there's been so many times where I've forgotten little things, like little details about my placements, and it could have cost me going to a completely different hospital or a completely different GP if it wasn't for my friends. So make sure you have a lot of different friends because another thing as well, you're not gonna be friends with like the first person you speak to on your course for the rest of your medicine degree. Remember, you're gonna be spending five or six years with these people, maybe even more. So it makes sense to speak to a lot of different people and then you can choose, you know, you know what, I wanna be friends with this person or this person. The second thing is don't stress out because it is your first year. Now, if you're, if you're there stressing out about these exams and stuff or your lectures um, in your first year, remember, it's your first year, it's only just gonna get harder. So you wanna be focused, but you also wanna have a good time, enjoy yourself, because first year is one of the only times, you know, you have all that free time and you'll be able to enjoy yourself. And another thing to remember as well, if you've managed to get a medical school, the chances are you'll manage to get through it. So don't stress too much about your first year. The third thing that I need to mention is make sure you have a good impression with your lecturers and the staff members because I've, there's people in my, in my med school, right, that just ask annoying questions like, and it honestly does annoy the lecturers, it annoys me and I'm sure it annoys the lecturers. Like they'll just interrupt and ask stupid questions. You're gonna often go to your lecturers and the staff members for help on your assignments or even exams and stuff. Like there's been times where people have been stressed and like they've went to ask the lecturers or staff members for help and they won't like obviously give you the answers or anything but they'll guide you. They'll give you a bit of guidance and, and ways to tackle um, the stress and stuff. Now, they're not gonna do that if, you're, if you get off on a on the wrong foot with them so make sure so make sure you know don't be a kiss ass just make sure you leave a good first impression the fourth thing that i need to mention is don't buy an excessive amount of books because i know for a fact that most unis tell you they give you a, a list of uh, books that they want you to buy and it's like 300 400 quid now it's ridiculous and the thing is right you don't even use half of them books I'm not even gonna lie, I think I'll, the only book that I've ever used is Grey's Anatomy and that was like a few times a year. So don't, so make sure you don't buy an excessive amount of books. I will be making another video which tells you what resources that you do need to buy and which books that are worth buying. Um, so keep an eye out for that, it'll be out in a few days. The fifth thing that I need to mention is dedicate at least one hour or two hours every day to looking through your lectures. Now, this the reason I say this is because as you, as the years go on, it's gonna be it's gonna get harder and harder. Now, in your first year, if you manage to discipline yourself to sort of stick to one or two hours after lectures, just to look through some of the lectures, make a few notes, then you know you you're getting prepared for the harder years to come. Number six, make sure you make notes on every lecture. Now. In that one or two hours that you're spending every day, make sure you're making through making notes on every lecture because honestly in these medical school exams they test you on the, the littlest detail. Like they'll give you a bone right, like rib number three, and then they'll ask you to name like a little bump or a ridge in the bone of of number um of rib three. Now that that might have been mentioned in one of your lectures but if you just overlooked it and didn't make any notes or anything 
you'll probably not be able to answer half of these questions. Number seven is make friends with the people in the year above because these people have sat your exams already. They've been through first year of medicine and they know the ins and outs. So a lot of these people also will remember the topics that you should focus on in your exams and the topics that, you know, don't always come up on your exam. So ask them for help, ask them for tips, ask them for advice. And often they'll be able to give you, you know, good tips tailored to your university. Now I can give you tips on your first year of med school, but it differs between every med school. So obviously if you speak to the people in the year above you, they can give advice and tips that are tailored specifically for your uni. And finally, this is one of the most important things that I'm going to mention. Make sure you have a social life. Now, medical school is so stressful. Like, it is so hard and it does take control if you haven't got other things going on outside of med school. So make sure you have a social life. Make sure you're playing sports or, you know, doing something that you enjoy. Make sure you take part in your hobbies. Um, make sure you're spending time with your friends not just medical school friends make sure you spend time with friends that are outside that aren't doing medicine because even your med school friends when you're with them like all you'll ever talk about is medicine related stuff and it gets kind of annoying after a while so make sure you make friends outside of your course and spend a bit of time with them as well medicine will honestly drive you crazy if you haven't got a good balance between work and social life and it'll prepare you for the future as well as a doctor and stuff now those are basically all the tips and advice i can think of and um, if i do think of any others then i'll make another video but remember if you want to get involved in the snapchat q a make sure you add up the snapchat details i'll put them up there again and um, make sure you like comment and subscribe you know the drill make sure you subscribe down below and Click on that little bell that comes up because then you'll get a notification when I upload the next video and it's about the resources that you need for medical school. Um, thanks for watching and bye for now.